Chad Simmons, director of recruiting for On3, and what a wild, busy, you know, explosive in recruiting terms summer has been. And guess what? There's more. Uh, more is on its way, and it starts really again uh, later this week. I think two big time names committing on June 14th are four star linebacker Tony Rojas and four star running back Dalen Smothers. And starting with Rojas, you know, he's a linebacker from Virginia has it down to Clemson, Georgia, Miami, and Penn State. And I think for most of his recruitment, uh, I've liked Penn State here. And I think Penn State uh, has done a great job building that relationship with him, those close to him, and showing the plan they have for him to fit into their defensive scheme. I think Clemson was a competitor late spring, early summer. Georgia became that threat early to mid-June. I think Penn State has held all those schools off and they're in line, I think, for a big time commit uh, later this week from one of the more, I think, athletic linebackers in this class. Moving over to Smothers, you know, I think uh, Oklahoma is in a great spot. You know, Alabama, Florida State, NC State are also on his list, but the talented running back out of North Carolina uh, has been trending, uh, I think, heavily, at least behind the scenes to Oklahoma for some time. They've had a great uh, run this summer as well, and I think they'll add another big-time commit in the coming days. Going into the weekend, there's some big-time commits that will be involved in the future 50 uh, down in Bradenton, Florida. Uh, on Saturday, top 100 linebacker Troy Bowles, you know, Father Todd Bowles, head coach for Tampa Bay Buccaneers, is down to Oklahoma Georgia and Ohio State. This one's seen a few shifts. I think a, a consistent team uh, that's been up there has been Georgia. I lied the prediction for Georgia uh, a while back, and I still feel pretty good about that pick for the Bulldogs. But uh, at one time, it looked to be Ohio State and Georgia. Uh, now I'm hearing more about Oklahoma late uh, in Georgia coming down to and talking to Troy recently he said he's not 100% there yet. Uh, with his decision, but he's very close. I think it comes down to Georgia, Oklahoma. I give the edge still uh, to the Bulldogs for, for Troy Bowles. On Sunday, Jelani Thurman, one I think one of the most talented, versatile, hybrid type kids in this class, has played some defense, outside backer, edge guy, but uh, his future is definitely on the offensive side, more of that outside tight end flex guy that can create really uh, mismatches with linebackers, even safeties, the way he can run. And I think this was coming down to Auburn, Alabama, Michigan State, Ohio State. You know, it's definitely a Big Ten feel, you know, for this one. He's taking multiple trips to Michigan State. I know he loves the offensive firepower at Ohio State. I think Auburn uh, is, is quietly in the mix, too. But I think it comes down to, you know, Mel Tucker, Ryan Day, um, in the end, where does he go? Spartans, you know, Buckeyes. I mean, I think he maybe sees a, a quicker path to the field possibly at Michigan State, uh, but maybe better talent around him at Ohio State. So I think he's kind of down to those two schools at this point, but he hasn't ruled anyone out officially just yet. And then looking ahead, I think, to next week too, Jamal Jarrett, uh, four-star defensive lineman from Grimsley High School in North Carolina, Auburn, Georgia, North Carolina, the three finalists there. Uh, he's a kid that uh, I think appear higher on recruiting lists than he does maybe in his ranking. He's a guy that teams covet to kind of build around on that defensive front, being a monster in that 6'5", 6'6", 350-pound range that can move athletically. Some schools liked him on the offensive side early on. They've all shifted that to the defensive line side. Now, as he makes his decision. I think it comes down to North Carolina, the in-state school, the school that offered him first before anyone else, the school he grew up a fan of. He's visited Chapel Hill more than any other college campus. And then they're going, I think, against Georgia. Uh, Georgia's trying to use that Jordan Davis factor, you know, taking him from North Carolina at Mallard Creek High School, building him into a first-round draft pick on the defensive line. So I think it comes down to relationships at UNC and Chapel Hill and just that comfortability. Uh, and then just the development side at Georgia. Uh, I put a prediction in back early in the spring for Georgia on the on three RPM. Uh, I still feel good about that prediction, but I don't think he's made that final call to those coaches just yet. But I like where Georgia sits heading into next week.